Hey guys, so I thought I'd do this video today on my experiences with meeting uh, Harry Potter actors. So basically I'll be talking to you about all the Harry Potter actors I've met. I have them written down here in case I forget anybody. I think I've met about 20 Harry Potter actors. I've never actually counted but I'm going to do that in a minute actually. Uh, and I've met a few of them a couple of times. So yeah, I've met a few Harry Potter actors and I thought this would be a nice video to do talking about my experiences and that kind of thing. I have met other actors that haven't been in Harry Potter and if you'd like me to talk about those in a future video then please leave a comment down below and I will talk about my experiences with the other actors that I've met but I thought this would just be a, a nice video to do. It's not in any particular order, they're just in the order that I've wrote them down. Uh, so let's get started. So the first Harry Potter actor I've met is Simon Fisher Becker. I've met Simon Fisher Becker three times now. He played the Fat Friar, the Hufflepuff house ghost. Um, the first time I met him must have been about three years ago now, and the most recent time was March this year. So the first time we met, um, we were talking about backstage stuff and stuff like um if you've read the books uh, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, nearly headless nick celebrates his death day party and all the ghosts are in attendance and Simon Fisher Becker was telling me about how they filmed so many scenes for the ghosts the death day party they did film um which I was really excited to hear because I'd never heard that before he said they did film the death day party but it was scrapped um which is a bit sad actually because I'd love to have seen that on screen and we've never seen any deleted footage of it we've never seen any behind the scenes or anything to do with it but he said they did film it and he was telling me about some other scenes that they'd filmed that ended up being scrapped he said he had a slightly larger role in the film the films that was scrapped the second time I met him he recognized me as he did the third time as well um and I do have him on Facebook and that kind of thing and he's just yeah he's just wonderful to me and I I'm sure I will meet him again um, throughout the course of this. And every time I've met him, I've bought his autograph as well. So I have three autographs from Simon Fisher Becker. The next person I have written down here is Mike Gabitas. I hope I've said that right. I always say his name wrong. I've met Mike twice. He's not actually a Harry Potter uh, actor. He is going to be in the upcoming Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them as a guest at gala scenes. I think that's what he's credited as. The first time I met him was February and the second time I met him was at World of Wizardry this past August. He's also a really nice guy to meet. The first time I met him in February, he was um, talking to me about some of the props that were used in Fantastic Beasts and he was just talking about... Um, being in the same room as John Voight and that kind of stuff. The next one I want to talk about is Paul Redfern, who will also be in Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them as a guest at Gala Scenes. But he was also in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 at the at Bill and Fleur's wedding. So I've met Paul Redfern once, and that was at World of Wizardry in August. Quite a few of these are World of Wizardry. And he was, again, really nice to meet. Before meeting him, again, I was speaking to him on Instagram and things like that. And I'd already bought his autograph from him. But when I met him at World of Wizardry, I thought, what the hell, I'll buy one from him again. And he actually got Mike uh, Gabitas to sign that photo as well, which was really nice. So now I have a photo uh, of the pair of them signed. The next actor I have here is Christopher Rithin, who played Dennis in Dudley Dursley's gang in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. He was also at uh, World of Wizardry in August, and that was when I met him. He was really, really nice. He was very funny. I met him in the daytime, and then I also met him at the Yule Ball, and I got a cheeky uh, free picture with him at the Yule Ball. And he was very, yeah, he's a very funny guy, very nice to me. I really, really enjoyed meeting him. And I got his autograph, of course. The next person I have down here is John Campling. Now, I've met John Campling twice, once in February and once at World of Wizardry. And again, I really loved speaking to John Campling. He's probably one of my favourite actors I've ever met. Um, he's so energetic. You can tell he really loves speaking to his fans. Not that all of these don't. I'm sure everybody on my list does enjoy speaking to the fans. They've certainly given me that impression. But John Campling is always very lively and he... He um, joins in with you, like for example, when I had a photograph with him in February, I, I had a wand with me and he makes wands for a living, which he calls Johns. He, he actually makes wands. Uh, John Campling played a Death Eater as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. John Campling played a Death Eater. And um, 
we were doing like funny poses like all this and stuff with wands and it just really made the experience for me um I bought a, a john from him a wand that he makes um and they're really good and he signs it as well so I in effect have two autographs from John Campling and he was just so nice again we talked about backstage stories and, and behind the scenes and um at world of wizardry i went to a quiz they were doing on the saturday uh, and john campling was doing the quiz for them and it was just a hilarious experience it really was it's one i can't explain to you but it was just so funny the next person i have here is chris rankin who played percy weasley in harry potter now i don't really have too much of an experience with chris rankin i didn't really get to i didn't really talk to him that much but we did talk a little bit and again i saw him at the yule ball on the night time and got a photo with him i did get his autograph as well um but i didn't really speak to him too much i did have a photo up with him i chose to have a photo a professional photo done with him as well so that was really nice and he was very friendly and then the next person we have is Paul Warren, who played, um, or who was Harry Daniel Radcliffe's body double in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So he was there on the Saturday and the Sunday. I met him at World of Wizardry as well. Um, and on the Saturday, I didn't, I didn't speak to him because I didn't actually see him at all on the Saturday. And on the Sunday morning, I saw his stall and I thought, oh, he's a Harry Potter impersonator. So I was like, right, it's not that important that I get his autograph then. It's not vital uh, for me to get it. And then there was a free Q&A with, well, like, yeah, yeah a Q&A in a big hall with Spencer Wilding, who I'll talk about in a minute, and Paul Warren. So it was free and me and mum didn't really have that much to do on the Sunday. So we was like, right, let's go into this Q&A. And it was all about creature acting and stuff. And I'm so glad I went into that Q&A because I didn't even plan to go into it. It was one of the highlights of my entire weekend. It was so good. Um, the both of them, um, Spencer Wilding and Paul Warren, were so animated when they were talking and they were telling us backstage experiences and behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. And I realised, wait, Paul Warren was in the Harry Potter films because he was Dan's body double. So we were going to get, we were about to leave to get our train. And I was like, no, I need to get this. I had £10 left um, because I'd spent so much that whole weekend. I literally was down to my last £10 and I ran to his stall and got his autograph and had a chat with him. And I thought, I can't come home without getting that because he was in Harry Potter so it's very important so I didn't really speak to him too much I asked him a few questions him and Spencer I asked them a few questions during the Q&A which were answered or oh, oh my god I asked so many questions that weekend it was unbelievable to, to everybody um and I spoke to him a little bit on his stall and he was really lovely and he was talking about backstage secrets again that kind of thing uh so I nearly missed him but I'm so glad that I took the time to go into that Q&A the next person I have here is Ian White, who I met last year sometime. Ian White uh, played Olympe Maxime in Longshot, so he had the animatronic head of Madame Maxime on. So I've met Ian White once, and he's so tall, like, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm tiny, I'm really, really small. And I have a photo, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen because I'm I'm really small and he's really tall and the photo just looks so funny. But um, Ian White, uh, I knew he, obviously he was going to be at the event before I went and I was the first, me and my dad were the first in the queue for the Comic-Con because we'd bought early, early bird tickets. And um, I ran to his stall because I wanted to be the first, I wanted to get him first. So I ran to his stall first and he hadn't even set up yet. And he said to me, oh, um, I can't uh, give you an autograph right now because I haven't got my stuff set up. And I went, not to worry, I've bought something for you to sign. I'd made my own picture because I knew, I just knew he wouldn't have anything Harry Potter. So I said, you've not got a Harry Potter picture, have you? And he went, oh no. And I went, good job I have then. So I made one for him to sign and he signed it. And we didn't talk for uh, that long because as you know, at Comic-Cons, you can't really talk to people for, for a long amount of time. So the next person is Spencer Wilding. I've already touched upon him briefly when I was speaking about Paul Warren. I've met Spencer Wilding twice, um, sometime last year and at World of Wizardry in August. Um, 
he's so funny and again he's one of those animated people who who really express themselves in big gestures and talk about everything and during the Q&A session I mentioned before he actually he he was Lupin's werewolf so in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban he was in the werewolf animatronic suit and if you've been to the Warner Brothers studio tour you've probably seen that werewolf costume well he was in that he was giving us a demonstration in the Q&A and he actually jumped onto the desk and it was just so funny and he very very funny man I really enjoyed seeing him the next person we have is Hugh Mitchell who played uh, Colin Creevy there's another funny story here I met him again at World of Wizardry so I went VIP so you got to choose um, a coffee lounge with so some of the Harry Potter actors you could have a coffee lounge with um, among other things so now I chose to have the coffee lounge with the Goblins Corner which is nine goblins uh, nine actors who play goblins which I'll tell you about in a second and they were running very very late things were going on you know backstage and things were running very late so Hugh Mitchell came in for his coffee lounge session which I hadn't paid for I'd paid for the Goblins Corner and um so we were all like, what do we do? What do we do? And in the end, it was decided, sod it. The Goblins came in and we had a Q&A with the Goblins Corner and Hugh Mitchell. So it was really good. So um, before, because the Goblin actors were running very late, like I said, so we sat down with Hugh Mitchell and we was talking to him about his experiences playing Colin Creevy. And I asked him, I must have asked him about five or six questions. Like I said, I think I asked like... 40 questions the entire weekend. I asked so many. I'm so inquisitive. And when it comes to Harry Potter, you can't get me to shut up, as you can see. <laughs> so I was talking to him about everything. And he was, yeah, he was a really nice guy to me as well. And the last Harry Potter actors I've met, like I said, were all nine of the Goblin actors. So we have Jimmy V, who you might also know. He's played a lot of uh, characters in uh, Doctor Who. The only one coming to mind is Banakaf Alata from the Christmas episode with Kylie Minogue. Jimmy V was so nice to talk to. I had a coffee lounge and a Q&A with the goblins and I was stood outside with them for a bit as well. Um, so yeah, we have Jimmy V, Michael Henbury, who I'd previously met. Uh, so I've met Michael Henbury twice now. Max Laird, Lard, I hope I'm saying that right. I can't ever say it. Uh, I met him only the once. And Karen Laird, Lard, his wife, I'd met again only the once. Alan Bennett, I met as well, only the once. Brian Wheeler, I met twice. I'd already met him. George Appleby, first time. Graham Hughes, first time. And Ollie Clark, first time. So in the package deal that was going on, you got, if you paid for the Goblin's Corner, that's what it was called, you got all nine actors, uh, autographs, and then I paid for a coffee, well, I got a coffee lounge with them and a Q&A with them. I love meeting the Goblin actors in particular because they love talking about their experiences. Again, not that anybody else doesn't, but um, all the Gringotts scenes really, really interest me and I'm into makeup and prosthetics and that kind of thing. So it's so nice to talk about that. And they were giving the most interesting backstage stories I'd ever heard. Um, I was talking about props, costumes, prosthetics, um, funny stories about how they ate on set because the goblins had, you know, face prosthetics, contact lenses, teeth and they were talking about how difficult it was to eat and how you didn't really make that many friends at the beginning because nobody knew who you were but it was all just sort of stuff like this and stories and the Q&A session was amazing I haven't laughed so much in a while so I think that's everybody I've met if you'd like to know anything more about my experiences then please let me know this is just purely Harry Potter actors I've met and like I said before, I have met actors that haven't been in Harry Potter. So if you'd like me to speak about my experience with them in another video, then please let me know. So this is my video. I'm so sorry it's so long, but there's so much I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry if I was speaking really fast, but I just wanted to get it all out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.